Berkeley County man recovering after he says he was yanked out of his car and slammed into the ground by an unidentified law enforcement. News 2's Libba Holland joins us now to explain why he says he shouldn't have been pulled over in the first place. Libba? Brendan, Greg Ward was on his way to the post office on Highway 52 Thursday morning, but he didn't quite make it there. An unmarked SUV with blue lights pulled him over. Two men wearing gold badges and civilian clothing snatched him from the car and threw him to the ground. So these photos show his bruised, swollen face from that incident. He said after the police took his license and looked at it, the men then let him go. But what may be worse than the physical damage is how it affected him emotionally. They came right up to my window, had their guns drawn, pointed at me. Not down and ready, but had them pointed at me. Greg Ward says he slips into a panic every time he sees law enforcement, and his story explains why. As soon as I let my seatbelt go, they ripped the door open and grabbed me by my shirt and pulled me to the ground. That's the damage these photos show. He also suffered a severe concussion and still gets dizzy and blacks out. And that's not all. When they slammed me to the ground, one of the officers got on me and pretty much punched their knee into my back. Ward already has 30% disability on his back after he fractured his leg in six places while in the Army. He was honorably discharged and now lives in Bono with his wife and two-year-old son, who celebrates a birthday today. I can't really run around and play around with them like I used to and can barely pick them up. So now Ward is left wondering, who roughed him up? Or he comes back to the car saying that uh, this isn't the right person. Sorry for the misunderstanding. You're good to go. They uncuffed me. And then they took off to their car and sped off. Right now, I have someone, you know, investigating everything from internal affairs. And she's told me that she called everyone from U.S. Marshals to Berkeley County to Bono law enforcement. And no one's admitting to any of it. This incident happened under the Berkeley County Sheriff's Office jurisdiction, but they tell me at this point they don't believe it's one of their deputies. They say they have locked up all the Tahoes and they've looked them up and know where the Tahoes and black SUVs were at that time of the day when that happened. And they have them all accounted for. They also tried to find a digital footprint of a license check, but couldn't find one. We will continue to follow this story and bring you any updates when we get them on air and online. Live in the studio, Libba Holland, News 2.